Hi folks and welcome to Shick Happens. In this episode I'm going to talk a little bit about hen of the wood mushrooms. They've been coming out in full force here. It's been a really good year so far. In the last few days I found 50 to 60 pounds of them. And I pieced together some video of me talking about them but was too lazy to take the camera back and get footage of me harvesting them showing the trees, all that good stuff that you really enjoy in a YouTube video. Well, I failed miserably at that. So, I'm going to show you some of the video footage I took in the barn over a day and a half of me finding these Hen of the Woods mushrooms. And I just going to have to use some cheesy, humorless filler to go in between. Sorry. Here's some uh, hen of the woods that I just picked about 15 minutes ago. Every year in an oak tree behind the house, I'll harvest some of this. And last week when I went out there, there was two little clumps about four inches around. I knew we had some rain coming, so I wanted to leave them go. This was what I got and the reward I got from letting them go another four or five days. There's probably 20 pounds of hen in the woods here. I could have picked them last week when they were this big, but I knew based on the weather we'd have, these were going to explode. And I'm glad I did because there's a lot of good eating here that's going to go in the freezer. So a fat guy drinking beer walks into a bar and he's carrying a waffle iron. And and if you do a little bit of research on Hen of the Woods mushrooms, these particular mushrooms do have cancer-fighting qualities about them. It's another reason I love to eat them. I mean, I love mushrooms. But when they pack that kind of punch, it's all the more reason to eat them. So when I was on YouTube the other day, I was kind of browsing through some channels and content, and I ran across this channel called Barbara's basket weaving and then down in the description it said let's help each other grow or something I don't know so anyway the funniest thing happened I clicked on it and a buddy come over yesterday um, he helped me finish up the deer blind we got the roof on and then we took a little walk out back and just off one mushroom found 20 pounds so there's 20 pounds of kind of the woods on that one mushroom and I took a clip of that that I'll probably add in this video. But anyway, it's September 16th. We've had a couple real good shots of rain recently. Even though the, the temperature has been extremely warm for this time of the year. But wow, these kind of the woods are really popping. Um, around here in Northwest Ohio, we usually find these. I've only ever found these on oak trees, whether they're dead or alive. It's the only tree I've seen them grow on around here. I'm not saying that's the only tree they'll grow on. That's the only tree I've ever found them on. But these are super, super good mushrooms. The market for them around the United States where you can sell them is usually $30 to $40 a pound. Um, I don't sell them. I don't like giving them away. I, they, they're one of the best tasting wild mushrooms you can get. I actually like these better than I do morel mushrooms. But anyway, I wanted to just share this with you. There's probably, I don't know, there's probably 15 pounds of mushrooms here. So I'm going to get these rinsed a little bit, clean them up, and I'm going to put them in two pound bags, get them vacuum sealed, and get them in the freezer. And these these mushrooms freeze very well. I mean, six months later you can pull them out. They're still going to have that same firmness to them. They don't get all mushy. They fry up really nice. Butter, salt, and pepper. And they got a just like a nice mealy texture. So this, this is an absolute treat to find these. Especially when you can find one or two mushrooms and you're kind of set for the year. 
So the last time I checked my subscriber account on YouTube, I think I had around 340, 350, something like that. And I'm telling you, when I hit that four or 500 threshold and become a rich YouTuber, I'm going to buy and kind of show you a little bit a little bit closer view of these some of them get dark brown like this and some varieties can get a little bit blonder but they're all hen of the woods and they are great absolutely wonderful for table fare especially when you have a beer with them Okay, on a serious note, what I've been doing recently in all my videos, or at least the last few anyway, is giving shout outs to small YouTubers. People that I think have really good content. And this video is not going to be any different. I want to give a shout out to Shick Happens. He's funny. I love watching him. He reminds me a lot of myself. I almost wish I could follow in his footsteps and be just like him with the content he puts up. It's hilarious. I mean, it's dry humor. Some people might not get it, but I think you ought to check him out. He puts some really funny stuff up, at least to me. But anyway, if you can, check out Shick Happens on YouTube. I think he's going to be at at least five, six hundred subscribers in the next three years. That's some good stuff. Check him out.